everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is another hashtag jump back with Jess back to school video as you can see by the title it is spicing up our school supplies well I hunted down some school supplies we have around the house which it's all my husband's a stapler hole puncher um, folders uh, clipboard, calculator, things like that, and as you can see, they're boring and black. So, what we are going to do to spice them up, I got some craft supplies at Walmart, and we shall see what we can do with them. Um, I don't know if you can tell my voice is kind of eh today. It's because I have allergies really bad down here in Florida. So I have my cup of tea with me while we film. Yeah, it says keep calm and call mom, which I shall do later. So anyway, we are we are going to spice up his school supplies. So let's get started. First, let's work on these plain hole puncher and stapler. All we're gonna need, it's very simple, is some cute washi tape and some scissors. Let's get started. Okay, so using the hole puncher as an example, as you can see, we're, it's very simple, just adding some washi tape, some pattern to it, and it makes it look really cute. So basically, what I did is I measured how much washi tape we needed and cut it off and covered the boring gray part. So. As you can see, washi tape is definitely a way to make things your own and to spice up your school supplies. So there we have a hole puncher and stapler. With this calculator, we did the same thing, washi tape and scissors, very simple. I just wrap some around the case part and then put a little bit at the top, making our school supplies our own. And as you can see, I did numbers to go along with the calculator. Just something fun to add to it. And that is our calculator. Another way to spice up our school supplies is with cute stickers. Now, I'm a music person, so I picked some music notes. We have our plain clipboard here. And I'm going to put some on the back and front. So either way you look at it, it'll be cute. <laughs> so... Alright, so the last do-it-yourself project we have to spice up our school supplies is with the binder. And we need design paper that I got at Walmart, all different designs, some tape, and some scissors. First what I did was we need a triangle shape that I traced perfect lines with this just 3x5 card and traced it on the paper and cut it out a triangle. 
then what you want to do first is align your triangles how you would want on your binder. And it's like a puzzle piece fitting all the different designs in. And it doesn't have to be all one design, kind of mix up the design. As you can see, my favorite colors are lime green and teal. So I did a lot of those colors in for my design. And now I'm going to take them all off and take them down with some tape. Taking my tape, and I'm not going to take them all off actually. I'm going to take them one at a time so I don't ruin my beautiful puzzle here. And just press down. And we're going to have to, when we get to the end, cut off some excess pieces. But I like all the different patterns and things. If they overlap, it's okay. All right, and about 10 minutes later, so not too long, um, but it was actually kind of fun. Um, here is the finished product. Um, I think it looks super cute, all the different designs and everything. And of course, it's my favorite color, so it's nice. Um, what I did, basically, taped them all down and cut the access off. And I taped a little bit on the outside, too, just so they wouldn't fall off. Also. There's a lot of different ways you can still do this if you want it more durable. You can either put it on another piece of paper and slide it into the folder or do it with glue. I've seen some people do that as well. Just many different ways. I just decided to use tape because it was faster and I had tape here, <laughs> to be honest. Um, so well, this is what the finished product looked like and I hope you like it. So, what'd you think? If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. And also, if we have not already, it would be very, very kind of you if you would subscribe to me. That'd be great. Hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed the video. And I think I'm going to do one more of hashtag jump back with Jess video. So, keep a lookout for that. And I hope everyone has a great week. And I'll see you next Sunday. Bye.